guys, we're going to try and attempt to fix the dipstick tube. I don't know if you can see that in there or not, but in there is where the hole is for the dipstick to go. And i got to try and get that piece out. So what I'm going to do is we're going to take the fender liner out, take that mud flap off, and try and get in there underneath that manifold. I apologize for the quality of this video guys. This is a new camera I'm using and I'm still getting used to it. Um, I zoomed in on this bolt and uh, it came out a little bit fuzzy, but anyway, you can still see it. That's a quarter inch by two inch leg bolt. I just screwed in the hole there to grab the what's left of the dip tube in there. And I put that in before I heated it, before I put any oil in there, anything, because um, I wanted that screw to take a really good hold. So. And now I'm just putting heat on it there just to try and loosen the rust up around the bolt. Um, pretty well have to do that. I mean, it's it was it was stuck in there bad. So. Just getting some uh, penetrating oil here to to spray on it, um, just to kind of soak in there a little bit. Help to loosen it up some, and then I just used a, a pry bar. I had a pry bar in the shop there, and I just went from underneath the truck up, and I put the pry bar up against the bolt, and. Uh, and just start it smacking the heck out of it and uh, there's the pry bar there I did that for quite a while it took quite a while to get it loosened up um, like I say it was really rusted in there bad but eventually after a while it starts to loosen up Yeah, this will take you some time. 
Um, keep in mind too, I edited a lot of this out so that I didn't have like a two hour video here. Um, but yeah, it, it does take some time. Um, I had to heat it, I think three times. Um, and I put quite a bit of oil on it on and off. And the other thing I did, you'll see here, I took the ratchet and I put the ratchet on it and uh, give it a turn and that really helped to loosen it up uh, you'll see like the whole the whole thing will turn um, and and that really helped loosen it up and, and eventually it popped right out but yeah you'll ha you probably have to put this ratchet on it a few times uh, to to get it to loosen up um, I think I did the ratchet maybe three times I think I had to put the ratchet on it and turn it so um, but if you're patient and you you know it will come out um, eventually it just takes a little bit of time and but it will come out Just uh, gonna get the ratchet out again and try and turn that a little bit to loosen it up some more. It did come up some there, but it it's, wasn't quite enough. So I just put the ratchet on it here and turn it a bunch of times and just tightening it in. And as you can see there, it's starting to turn. So it turned some and I got the bolt in a better spot to hit it with the pry bar. Um, the bolt bends up quite a bit and then you can't catch it with the pry bar so that's another reason I turn it down so I can get on it with the pry bar better.
And here you can see it's finally popped out. And that took the better part of, I'd say, an hour and a half, probably, to get that out of there. But yeah, it finally came out. So anyway, that's how I got the rusted off dipstick tube that was well, rusted is. into my engine block out. So I thought everybody would like to see that. Um, took a little while, but I got it done. That's anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, like to thank everybody for subscribing. And thank you for the likes.